We haven't featured Spanish music that extensively in the few years that I've been here, and I thought it was time. And there's so much great music uh, in that repertoire, and it'll give our audience a chance to hear a different voice, a different flavor, if you will, a uh, different nationality, which is something that we always try to do uh, when we look at the overall trajectory of our season. It connects up nicely to our closer, which is Carmen, at the end of the year. We're doing Carmen the Opera semi-stage, like we've uh, been doing in recent years. So I thought it would be nice to have a little bit of Spanish music at the beginning and also at the end. We have uh, an overture of Rossini from the Barber of Seville to kick things off. And then we'll begin with our first feature piece for Isabel Leonard. Isabel is one of the premier artists on the scene today. She's one of the greatest mezzo-sopranos of her generation. She's a very versatile artist. She can do all sorts of different styles. She's graced the stages, almost all the major stages all over the world by this point. She's a regular performer at the Metropolitan Opera in New York. So we're very fortunate to have her here in Rochester. Bolero is a piece that I've been a fan of since the first time I ever heard it. The great thing about it for the orchestra is that it features a lot of different soloists in a, in a build to the great climax. And when Ravel wrote the piece, it was just supposed to be an exercise in orchestral crescendo. And so it starts with just a snare drum, just a pulse, just a little beat in the beginning. And then one instrument after another gets layered on top until the texture just becomes so full and rich and vibrant and at the end everyone comes together. So it's a, it's a very rousing way to end a concert. Mm -hmm. 